What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to test a block heater. Uh, we're doing it on a 6.4 power stroke, but this it's gonna be the same for literally any vehicle. A block heater is a block heater, so the only difference is gonna be how the cord is ran and where it bolts the engine, pretty much. So uh, yeah, if you find it useful, please like, please subscribe. If you got questions, ask in the comments, or you can shoot me a message on Instagram at Dark Iron Diesel. But anyways, guys, let's get out. All right, so pretty much the only special tool you're gonna need for this job is a multimeter like this, and you can pick one up pretty much anywhere. Uh, this one's not even a very expensive one. They range from like, you know, 30, 40 bucks all the way up to 200. I think this one's around like a 30 or $40 range. Uh, but the biggest thing, you gotta have it be able to go on ohms because we wanna check resistance in the circuit. So what we want to do is we want to test your block heater to see if the cord and if the block heater is good. So with it set in ohms, now remember that's resistance. So right now there's so much resistance, I guess, because they're not even touching, the leads aren't touching together that it just says OL, which basically means open circuit. That means it is not a, a complete circuit. Now, if I touch these two leads together, you can see this changed to one ohm or 0.6 ohms, 0.5, it's going down. It should be about zero, um, but like 0.6 ohms is very minimal for resistance. So that's just kind of what's happening. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these leads and we're gonna go put them on each side of our block heater cord where it plugs in. Now you're not gonna do the ground, you just want the top two prongs. I'll show you when we get there. And we're going to put it together and we're gonna see if we get an OL like this, or if we get an actual resistance reading. Okay, so I know I have a problem with this block heater cord or the actual block heater itself, so I have uh, manipulated it to, to get it all the way. The block heater actually goes right there to the block, so this is the whole entire cord right here, so I can uh, check it for uh, any opens or breaks or whatnot. Usually your block heater is probably gonna be hanging on your bumper or it'll be sticking out the side of your hood wherever you guys have it. But uh, regardless, we're gonna test it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get that multimeter and we're gonna have it in the ohm setting like I showed you. And we're gonna test these prongs here, the top two. Uh, yours might not even, like this bottom one is a ground. Don't worry about that one. Uh, your cord might not even have a ground down here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one lead on here and one lead on there and to see if you get a open circuit or if you get some sort of resistance. All right, so I'm gonna hook one lead in here and one lead in there. And as you can see, we still have OL, so open circuit. So what that is telling us is that there's either a break in the cord somewhere or the actual block heater itself has, uh, has failed. And, and broken too bad that it's not sending any current through it. So if you have a plug like this, the first thing you could do is just unscrew it and make sure that the connections are still good on here. Uh, but this one actually has another plug right here, which I unplugged and I checked the ohms from here on out and I got the same, it's an open, open circuit. So what I'm gonna start with is I'm going to peel all this loom off of this wire and I'm going to see if there's any breaks in this wire because in my experience, it's a lot more common to have a broken wire on your cord than it is to actually have a failed block heater in your engine. So just to show you what a good one is, here's a different truck that we got in the shop. I have my ohm meter on it just like so, and it has 36 ohms of resistance. So that's a nice good number. 36 ohms will create some heat, which is exactly what you want in a block heater. Uh, that resistance heats up the block heater and it heats up your engine. So just so you know, that's what a good one looks like. And depending on the make and model, it may vary in how many ohms resistance yours has, but just know that you, know, as you want some resistance in there uh, and you don't want an open circuit like what we have on this Ford. All right, I was able to actually just pull the whole cord right off the truck uh, just to make it easier to uh, check for any breaks in it. And now I can also check 
with my ohm meter again I can check individual wires in here to see uh, if they are broken in fact in this cord or if it is the block heater itself so this is where it plugs into the block heater so the block heater is still in the truck uh, so we're going to test this cord out to see if the cord is the issue or if it's the block heater okay keep in mind since the block heater is not plugged in this is not going to be uh if you go here to here that's not going to be a closed circuit because the block heater is what completes the circuit see these two right right here you know it goes into the block heater so uh, we have to test the wires individually so we're going to just test with one lead on here and then we're going to figure out if it's on this one or that one but that's how we're going to test it so what i'm going to do is I'm going to first hook one lead in here like so and then I don't know which one it is on here I'm just gonna touch in here it's not that hole so I'll go here oh look at that look at our resistance so we got 0.6 ohms resistance in that wire so that's good there's no issue with that wire so now what we're gonna do we're going to test the other wire so we're gonna put this guy in there and put it right here oh look at that another one that one's good as well so we got 0 0.5 ohms on the other wire so i hope this is kind of making sense to you guys but what we just figured out is that this whole wire is good there's no issues with it because we tested this one wire and it was good there was no resistance we checked the other wire it was also good there was no resistance so as long as the block heater which completes the circuit right here is good then everything should be good so the only thing left to test is the actual block heater itself which i can guarantee you now is going to be an open circuit so this this truck needs a new block heater now like i said normally it's just an issue with the wire but in this case we actually need a block heater so i'm going to get one to the shop and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. I'm gonna pull the one out of this truck and then we can talk a little bit more about it. So hopefully you just had a broken wire and you were able to fix it. But if you have to change the block heater like me, you gotta drain the coolant. And keep in mind that when you actually pull the block heater out, it is also going to dump coolant down on you. So it's a messy job, but uh, if you can kind of prepare for it, it's not as bad. Okay, I got my block heater out. So just to kind of show you guys, so like I said, there's two wires in here. Uh, I have the block heater plugged in the cord. So your power goes through here and down here. There's resistance in, uh, in here, which creates heat. And this is what actually heats your block. So, uh, but like we checked it, just unplug it here. So we checked the wire and it was all good. So I know that it's gonna be this thing that's actually the issue, but just to double check, we'll, uh, check resistance between these two uh, prongs. Just make sure you don't accidentally put the prongs on the edge of uh, here because then you can complete the circuit and you'll get a false reading that there's no resistance. So I'm just gonna go directly on the top and we'll check it. All right, so if I hold it up like this and just directly touch the top. So I'm just touching the tops of those two prongs. Touching them right now and nothing. So we've just confirmed that this is a broken circuit. So this is uh, the issue with this truck. The new one should be here any second. So I'll show you the new one. We'll test the resistance in the new one. And uh, that'll be pretty much it. I'm going to throw it in. And, uh, but I'm not going to bother showing that because it's going to be different for whatever vehicle you're working on. All right, I got my new block heater. Nice uh, shiny new one here. Uh, it comes with a new cord, of course. Uh, so we'll be using the new cord. Uh, so yeah, we'll just quickly check the resistance on this guy just so I can show you We'll see how much this one has compared to the other ones just open circuit remember so We'll see what this guy has for resistance. So just in the top Okay, just like that so watch it says zero but it will slowly climb up till it kind of maxes out so right there 14.9 ohms resistance that is what this one has remember that other one in the chevy we looked at that one was more like i think it was 30 or something like that but that's how much this has so uh yeah i'm going to put this new one in the truck all right i just plugged it into the cord it came with so i'm just going to check uh, resistance once more like we normally would while it's still in the truck 
So again, we're just gonna grab it here, do these top prongs, don't worry about the ground, just here and there. Watch it climb up. Look at that, right the same. 14.8, so that is what this block heater tests at. So if you find that you test yours and maybe it's not an open circuit, maybe you have like, um, let's say you have like, you're in the mega ohms, which is like thousands of ohms. So you're at like 30 mega ohms. So it's still a circuit, but you have way too much resistance in it. And most likely you have corroded wires, uh, or yeah, got bad connections, stuff like that. So you wanna watch out for that too. So even if it says you have some resistance, just watch that it's not too much. So what we found, this one was about 15 ohms. That Chevy was about 30. So you probably wanna be kind of around this area. If you're in hundreds of ohms or higher, then you probably have an issue with your wiring. But yeah, that is just kind of what I wanted to go over. Like I said, normally it is, I find, a break in the wire. Unfortunately, this one was actually a new block heater it needed. But if you do find a break in the wire, try to use solder and heat shrink when you do it. Do not just strip the wires, twist them together and tape them, because I've seen that before. You're just probably going to burn your truck down, so just don't do that. Uh, make sure you're using some proper connectors and you're heat shrinking it so that it's uh, not going to get water and corrosion in there but yeah guys that's it for the video so if you enjoyed it or you found it useful please like it please subscribe uh, if you got questions ask in the comments down below or shoot me a message on instagram at dark iron diesel but anyways guys thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video